Hello everybody, thank you so so much for joining me today. My name is Dave and I'm going to do a very quick rundown of a really cool product that I've had for about a year. Before I tell you what that product is, I want to ask you guys a question. Any of you at all remotely interested in looking at what's out there? And what I mean by that is out in space. Yes, I'm kind of referring to a telescope or something of some sort that is capable of doing that. How would you like to see a galaxy like this? How would you like to see a nebula like this? It is very possible with a very, very amazing little product that I have owned now for about a year. It is made by ZWO and it is a smart telescope. It's very small. It is very amazing. So without further ado, let me introduce you to what I refer to as my little robot. So anyway, I'm not going to go into the specs of it. I'm not going to dive deep into it with all the, you know, this is that, this is that, no. So if you guys like the pictures that you just saw, thought they turned out pretty good, then what does it matter? There's other videos out there that will be, I'll go into all that kind of detail, but I'm not going to. I just want to show you guys what this thing is, what it will do. So let's get a little bit closer, bring you in on this little guy and show you just what you see on the outside. So right here you get the Sea Star logo. This right here, this part here is what they call the arm and that's what opens up like so. And you'll see that in a little while. Turning it around, really not much to see here on the side. Right here is the power button. Right there is the USB-C input where you do your file transfers and charge it and use it to power it up. So that is about it for what you see on the outside. What is all inside? Totally different situation. Um, but what I do want to tell you quickly is this thing comes with features that um, are it's kind of crazy that they even put them in this thing, to be honest with you. And this is one of the many reasons I actually purchased this. If you live in a more light polluted area, it's got a light pollution filter built in. You just turn it on on the app. It comes with an infrared cut filter, which means a lot of the stuff that's out there emits infra infrared light. And this kind of cuts back on it so you, the stars don't bloat and all that kind of good stuff. And it also comes with an automatic focuser built in. That's unheard of for something like this. It's insane and it works well. So a second ago or so you heard me say something about an app. That is how you run this thing. It It, it is called the C-Star app. You can put it on your smartphone, on your tablet, whatever you want to do. Run through the very quick easy setup process. It walks you through it and you can sit in your home View all this on your tablet and stay nice and warm on the couch, watching TV, eating a snack. You don't got to sit out there and babysit this thing. So what do you get when you buy this thing? Well, you get, obviously you get the unit itself. This is not the tripod that comes with it. I had this one sitting around and I, it's, I use it other than the one it comes with. Um, if you're noticing underneath here, let's bring you in. This does not come with it either, if you saw that. This helps to level it. It comes with a hard case. It's actually a very hard styrofoam. Open her up with a couple little tabs there. Open this thing up. This is the tripod it comes with. It's very small. The legs do extend very 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 well made it's not a cheap one by any means 
and that is the solar filter that goes over the lens to view the sun. Comes with a manual and a quick start. And a quick start guide. Well, there you have that, guys. Put that back in there. And since I just showed you that, I'll throw up a little um, picture of what's in it. So if you want to see more, just pause the video and look at it. So now I'm going to give you guys a brief demonstration on scenery mode. Um, it's obviously it's all overcast so I can't do like show you the sun. And it's obviously daytime so I can't show anything at night. So this is in real time. Um, when you push the power button, hold it down for a couple of seconds so you hear two beeps. And it's probably a good 15-20 seconds for it to initialize and you'll hear a sound. So let's get down here to it. So here's the power button. So you just push and hold it for a couple of seconds. Two beeps and then release. This is your power indicator. Um, like 100% down to 5% type thing. Now you heard it beep. Now let's wait for that weird sound it's going to make. Then you'll know it's ready. Pretty neat, eh? That's how you know it's ready. Okay, I'm going to set this back down and I'll try and show you guys the app real quick. Okay, here's the app. Mine's already been set up, so I'm not going to go through and show you guys that process. But this is the basics of the app. It gives you all of the information you want. Stargazing, solar, and scenery. I told you I'd show you scenery mode. But first, let's open the arm. You guys can see that it is opening. and it stops itself right about there. So if I go into scenery, it's going to initialize scenery mode. And considering it's pointing at a wall, that's what you're gonna see. And this little circle here in the middle is like a joystick. You put your finger on it, and it moves. So I'm gonna move it out there just to point it across the road there. And I think that's probably 40 yards maybe this autofocus button again and it's going to work on focusing on that tree across the road since everything's moving it's probably going to be hard for it to figure out what's in focus but it did it it focused uh, across the road so yes you can see things that way in the day You can take pictures, you can do a time lapse, photo, and take video in scenery mode. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to close the arm and you'll see that it returns to what is a home position. just like that. Now you can also use the app to shut it down remotely which is kind of cool. And now it's going to shut off. Those lights should go off in just a second here. Just a quick little rundown here. This is a part of the app that will tell you what tonight's best is. That's what you can see tonight. This is like a gallery of galaxies, nebula, nebula, star clusters, Messier objects, stuff like that. So if you want to see the Andromeda galaxy, you say locate that position where it's going to be at, 
in the sky right now. And then the go to button is right here. You hit go to and you just stand back and it does it for you. It goes right to it and it does a series of things um, to get you to that point. And that is called, it does a plate solving. It takes little pictures of this, quick pictures of the sky. And then it has a database stored inside of it of the sky and what time of year, all that good stuff. And it knows where it's pointing. It remembers that and you're, it'll take you right to that object. So in a nutshell, this thing is awesome. Um, I, I absolutely love this. I hope this piques interest in somebody else because it's really a cool thing to do. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you a better um, video I was able to do of the app on, on my phone. If you have any questions, you guys, um, don't hesitate to ask. Com put them in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know that you're probably wondering, you know, didn't he just do this video like a week ago? Yes, I did. Um, and once I had it uploaded for a while, um, I knew that the audio was horrible on it. So I just took it down and redid it. Uh, so yes, I do appreciate all of you guys' support. I, I appreciate you guys who are watching me. Um, please like, please subscribe. Um, my wife is wanting to become more of a part of my channel here, so we're going to get her integrated into this somehow. Um, uh, so until the next time, guys, um, enjoy the day and evening, wherever you're at. And I will see you again soon with another video. And until then, see you guys later.